the script outside of my character, I was really drawn to the idea um, of a solar flare. I really love the uh, concept of electronics being removed. Um, and I find that fascinating space. When it comes to sleep deprivation, I am in the industry where that, you know, runs supreme. Oh, as I touch my fake scar, it's fake. Um, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm really um, drawn to the attempt to personify an experience that none of us have had yet, right? So like when it comes to the sleep deprivation space, I find it very interesting, but then also uh, a challenge, a really fun challenge to see like what that looks like, what that means for my character as she deteriorates throughout the journey and what that looks like. And so it was a very challenging, ex or it has been a very challenging experience and I like challenges. Yeah. When I first read the script, I was obsessed with the story automatically. I mean, I was looking out the window and I was like, that's the car I'm going to take if this ever happens. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be great. I'm going to, I'm going to drive it. Um, spoiler alert, I might drive in this movie, so watch out. But I love, I love the script. I read it like three times. And then what I love about my character, Matilda, is that for me as the actress, I could play all the emotions that I want. Like in the movie, I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm, I'm really sad, I'm emotional, I'm screaming. So for me as the actor, it was incredible to film. Um, but Matilda is the brains of the movie and she can act like an adult sometimes and she is family oriented, which I love, and she's really smart, so yeah. <laughs> There's one man that has recorded his journey of sleep deprivation. I believe his name is Ron, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, so I don't want to butcher this, but he stayed away for 11 days. It was a science experiment. He was in high school. And not to mention, we would all very much deteriorate differently because of our age, our body space, you know, our, our state of our body. And um, Jill has army training. So she would have been trained in that space. So I did research in army training and sleep deprivation. And then a lot of train, I mean, a lot of research on solar flares because there was one back in the 1800s. And the idea of a solar flare hitting the earth and electronics going down is especially exciting to me. How I prepared to play Noah was I did some research on uh, like sleep deprivation um, and the levels required for that. Um, I wouldn't say I did any method acting. I mean, I did stay up and it did help to see how incapable you can be without any sleep. Um, but you'll definitely see how far that goes in this movie. There are definitely two spaces of the family drama and the sci-fi and this like high concept experience of what what ifs, right? That being said, they are integral. They 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 do go hand in hand because I am on this journey in this um, sci-fi world. Uh, all of our experiences, all of our years together and not together have, go on this journey with us. And there is um, very specific relationships between me and my son and me and my daughter. The way they both feel about me is very different um, and very visible throughout our journey. To balance the two elements of uh, sci-fi and, and, and like emotional scenes like that, um, a lot of the scenes are very emotional. So. And even while that's going on, we're trying to have something go on. There's maybe gunshots going on or something crazy is happening while wow, we need to be like screaming at each other. So it helps that there's these things going on around us. We're also playing off each other too, so it's really helpful. Yeah.